Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira administration tutorial, I'm going to discuss about time tracking and how as a Jira administrator, you are going to configure time tracking. I'll also cover some of the very important Jira administration questions that will be really helpful from the interview perspective. So stay tuned. I'll cover those questions at the last of every video. So the first thing in order to go to the time tracking configuration, if you're a Jira administrator, go to the right hand, uh, right side cog wheel and then go to the issues, right? So you'll go to the issues and then within the issues, if you scroll down where we previously saw the issue linking above that you have this time tracking option as well right so we had seen that you have this issue linking right which is by default active similarly we have the time tracking now what exactly the time tracking feature is all about so if you go to the time tracking you will see that time tracking provider is Jira provided time tracking and there are many marketplace apps available for tracking the time within Jira. Now time tracking is basically your team or your within your organization, whosoever is working and delivering the value or uh, the product, what sort of time they are spending on those activities that are being assigned, right? So all of that basically you can track within Jira when you have those issues and tasks, people can go ahead. If you have enabled time tracking using Jira provided time tracking, you will see that Jira provided time tracking and then they can log the time against the issues. So you'll see that first thing here is working hours per day is eight. You can configure that working days per week is five time display format. Is pretty basically you know that's how the time will be displayed you can change it default unit for tracking time is minute and then copying of comments to work description is enabled right now for the users you wish to be able to log work on issues ensure that they have work on issues permission in the relevant permission scheme okay so this is a note here and a question as well right so uh, it could be an interview question as well so if say for example if you want a user within your organization within the jira that they should be able to log work on issues right they should be able to log the work that i have spent this much time on this particular issue then those users should have work on issues permission within jira in the permission scheme okay this could be your jira admin certification question your interview question so make a note of this right now what you can do in order to enable or basically update the time tracking you can go ahead and click on edit global settings so if i go ahead and click on edit global settings you will see that i have this pop-up here wherein i can change the working hours per day to say for example for me it's 7.5 okay seven and a half hours so 7.5 working days per week so for example i'm pretty happy to work four days so only four days and then time display format if i go ahead and scroll down you will see that it it can be pretty it can be in hours it can be in days right so you can you know specify basically pretty is the default format and that's the by far the best way to represent what sort of time display or or what what how the time will be displayed and the default unit of measurement you can change it to from minute to hour to day to week right so by default it's minute now copying of comments to work description when you enable this option any comment entered as part of the workflow transition on an issue will be copied to the work log description if work is logged as part of that transition right so this is something which is advanced but i'll give you a high level what exactly this setting means so if say for example copying of comments to work description right so in the work description when you when this option is enabled what happens is any comment that is entered as part of the workflow transition on an issue so usually every issue has a associated workflow right that is associated behind that so for example to do in progress done this is very simple workflow so if i say there is a workflow associated to an issue and as part of that workflow transition say for example from in progress to done as part of the transition the pop-up comes and this option is enabled and somebody enters the comment in that particular pop-up right then person enters the comment and closes the issue right moves it to done okay then as part of that closure as part of that workflow transition this comment that has been entered as part of the transition will be copied to the work log description of the work if if the work is logged as part of that transition right so as part of the transition if the person is logging the work say for example from in progress to done they are also logging the time and the comment then it will be that that comment will be copied to the work log description 
okay so that's basically what this means i'll this is basically a complete separate video wherein you'll be able to understand but on a high level this is what it means that as part of the transition you'll see the pop-up screen you enter something you log the work and then if this particular option is enabled then it will be logged all right into the work log so this can be enabled or disabled but by default it is enabled okay so this is how you are going to change the time tracking settings and these time tracking settings are provided by jira okay there are external plugins as well that are available for time tracking if you are using those or you have installed those you will see if you go to this drop down you will see multiple options if you have different time tracking plugin available within jira that you have installed from the jira atlassian marketplace okay so let me change it to basically let me edit it and let me keep it default i'm just i'll just change it just to show you okay i'll keep it as is and that's how basically you are going to work with the time tracking or as a jira administrator if you want to change time tracking that's what you are going to now very important interview question from the time tracking say for example uh is time tracking feature enabled by default in jira so this is something which i thought we should cover from the interview point of view as well so yes by default time tracking feature is enabled by default you'll see that yes jira provides the time tracking by default and it is enabled by default and there is no option i think recently they have disabled right so they have disabled the global setting to disable the time tracking altogether by default it will be enabled and as a jira admin as well i don't see or you won't be able to disable the time tracking and let me quickly try to find out the link where they have declared that this is not supported anymore let me so here you'll see that this is a deprecation notice which is updated on 24th june which is pretty recent that to disable ability to disable time tracking jira cloud via rest api and then we are no longer supporting the ability to disable time tracking in the jira cloud ui and jira cloud rest api both so basically in the ui as well and in the rest api so time tracking is disabled and that's why we are not able to see any of the time tracking global disable option as we were able to see in the issue linking right so in the issue linking if i go and see that i can go ahead and click on deactivate to disable or disable issue linking completely at a global level but not the time tracking so from interview point of view first thing is it enabled by default yes and recently they have disabled it so that globally jira admin cannot disable it right so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful see you in the next lecture thank you